Salt Lake City Sugar House neighborhood is one of the fastest changing places in Utah. Not only is 21st South changing, so is about everything on both sides of that street. Many of the iconic buildings are all gone, but one lives on in the hearts of thousands of Utahns. Craig Worth says it's the old Hygieia ice rink where the kids used to hang out. Yeah, you know, it started with an ice plant and it ended up as Utah's first great mm -hmm. hockey rink. And then a fire destroyed the whole place and a million memories went up in smoke. Sugar House was where much of the valley got its ice. The Hygieia ice wagons would go up and down the streets and the ice man would fill up your ice box. Well, as late as the 1950s, a 500 pound block of ice cost $2.50 and lasted for weeks. Well, as long as there was all this cold ice, why not open up a skating rink? A big one, 85 by 200 feet. And my goodness, people came. Suddenly, the Hygieia Iceland was, well, it was where you just had to go. Come here, a couple of longtime skaters who went on to national competition mused about their days at Hygieia and how the ice block managers created the beloved rink. And I think the idea that it became a, a, an ice rink was someone's brilliant idea. It was serendipitous that they had, they thought, well, we're making ice and we're keeping this cold anyway. And, the, and figure skating became sort of one of those popular things back in the Sonia Henney days, you know, of everyone wanted to be an ice skater. Well, they put in a warming hut with a fireplace and lots of popcorn. There were kind of funny old benches that you would sit on to talk. There was a bonfire, which was great, the snack bar with, with old popcorn. So it was a place, it really was a place to talk. So we were talking about the fact that like, like the same thing kids did in the 80s and 90s, like hanging out at a mall. You know, we, we were hanging out. That's what sort of this, well, we were just hanging out for the day. You see, outdoor skating was big all across the nation. Baby boomers had many of their first booms on ice. I do remember that. And Hygieia was a perfect place. Adults would simply drop off their kids. And more people came. One was Linda Lever, who started at Hygieia and later became an Olympic ice skating judge. We would bring our records to the rink, and then we would go to the window and ask to be, have our record put in line to be played so our, we could practice our programs. Of course, they had to smooth out the ice. Now this was before Zamboni ice machines. Hygieia, to make ice, they had a Jeep, and they would pull it, it had um, a barrel on it, and somehow they got hot water in this barrel, and it had a, um, a kind of a, a rag that went across the back, and then they would pull this around to make the new ice. The big deal was to be in the end of season show. And we practiced for that for a long time. And there were group numbers and, and depending on your level, sometimes you had a solo in the show. And we always had these fun costumes. We thought they were fun. They, and um, we practiced and practiced and we sold tickets to all our friends. And, and that was a lot of fun. Hundreds of kids were in it. So many came to watch that they needed three nights to handle the crowds. It represented a time when um, people enjoyed simple things and skating was, was sort of a simple pleasure and a pastime. Of course, it became a race against warm weather and once the ice melted in the summer, well, welcome to Hygieia Swimland. And the warming hut, sure, judo and karate. And the rink, dancing. Later, they enclosed it and hockey became a standard fare, and another generation discovered Hygieia. It was a community. At a time, Salt Lake had no real fancy ice rinks. It was the best. Today, it's all a parking lot in the 1200 block on 21st South. Oh, but in the minds and the hearts of baby boomer skaters, indeed it was there. It was their youth. Oh, I suppose today it's kind of hard to believe that back then there could have been two, three, four hundred kids here because this was the center of ice skating, the Hygieia Ice Rink in Sugar House.